Hey guys, in this video we are going to go over the setup utility for the Big IP F5. So after you activate your license, this is where um, it's going to take you, which we did on the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it, how to activate it. Um, it's going to be a 30-day uh, free trial that you can activate. So after you get here to this screen, we are going to use hit next and this one um, is going to take us to the device certificates so if you have any certificates um, you can go ahead and import that renew whatever you have to do i'm just going to go ahead and click next here if you want to change your management ports configuration you can go ahead and do that i don't have to do that so i'm going to keep it the same i'm just going to change my time this is really important because uh, whenever you are doing a clustering or uh, yeah whenever you have more than one you want them to be uh, to have the same time even cl not clustering but whenever you have you know two of them you want them to have the same time because it is going to rely on time a lot um, the host name this one is going to be the big IP 01 um, and for the host IP address, we are going to tell it to use the management ports IP address. That's fine. Um, SSH, I'm going to leave it enabled for all addresses. That's fine. You need to go ahead and change the root password. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the root password is the one that you use to SSH, and the admin is the one that you use to access the um, GUI. Um, everything looks good. Go ahead and click next. Oh, I missed something. Oh, it must be equal. Okay, so the host name, you can use this boot that local right here. That's fine. Because it needs a domain, uh, a fully qualified uh, DNS name. So why didn't it take that local? Yep, there, oh, it took it. That's fine. Now we are going to um, standard network configuration. So we are going to go ahead and do next to keep going. Now for this one, um, we are going to be doing this later on. So we don't have to do this. This is for the clustering. Like I said before, for the time, they need to be, they need to have the same time, they need to be synchronized. Uh, but since we're not going to be doing that right now for high availability, um, so you can just go ahead and uncheck that and click next. Kubins, um, so over here, the self IP is going to be the IP address of the internal network configuration. Um, so we have um, three interfaces that we can use. Um, I did a little bit of a change on my on my topology, so this is how it's going to look right now. So let me go ahead and plug this one in. This one is going to be two um, e that e one that two. That's fine. Okay, so here, this is how my topology is looking. Before it looked a little bit different, but now this is how I'm gonna have it. So over here, I, ha I put in a router. I need to configure the router. And over here is another, um, it, it's basically like another virtual switch that is attached to my local area network. And this router over here is going to have a, it's going to get a DHCP IP address um, from my local router, right? From my actually local router. And then I'm going to configure this IP address. And this client over here is going to have the default routes of 172.25.1.3. And also this router over here is going to be the one that is going to, um, I'm going to add a couple static routes. One is going to be a default route to just go out. And then another one is going to be to get to this 10.0.1.1 network, which is going to be down here. So we're going to do that next after we're done with the big IP. So for the 1.1, it is going to be 1.1, uh, the 172 is going to be this one over here. 172.25.1.1. So the mass 255, 255.255.0. Um, the defaults port lock, I'm just going to 
allow just the default. There's a couple ports that are allowed by default. I forgot what they are. There are a couple of them. And for the tagging, I'm going to say untagged. Um, tagged is a trunk and untagged is an access port. There we go. So that's good. Let's go ahead and go next. So we can add um, another one. This one is going to be for 1.2, which is going to be this one over here. All right. Paste it. Um, for the subnet mask or the net mask is going to be the same slash 24 uh, the default gateway uh, for this one I'm not sure why we're going to show the default gateway for this one well we can say that it's going to be let's say it's going to be this guy right here the router r1 IP address so let's go ahead and go right here yep that's correct um, and then that one too is going to be on tag add it we are going to go ahead and go finish now Kubins. so now we are done with the setup utility it's been completed um, there we go cool so now you can see that we have a couple of, uh, on the menu on the left side we have a couple of options that we can do um, for you can go to device management you can network we are going to spend all of our time on here on the network side you know doing self IPs trunks tunnels route domains and all the VLANs and all that good stuff so if we go to the interfaces list you can see everything we have we see that this one is up one that one is up one that two is up one that three is not there's nothing connected to it um, so that's why it, it is initialized so let's go ahead and go and let's go ahead and go to that router and on that router let's put it like this enable config t so I first want to give it a host name I just want to uh, gateway that's why I just want to name it and I want to go to interface a0.0 IP address DHCP so you can get a DHCP IP address from my local router because we are connecting this router to my local um, to my local router um, and then we can go to um, 0 0.1 and it's going to have an IP address of 172.25.1.3.255.255.255.0. Let's do another shutdown. And you can see that it got an IP address over here of 0 0.34. Um, it, um, it zero zero got an IP address for my for my local router. Um, and this one over here is going to just have a static IP address. Could be so oops so we should be able to ping 172.25.1.2 let's do a do ping let's see if we're able to ping that guy yep we are and we should be able to also ping big ip let's see if we're able to ping it yep we are able to ping it could be um so we always lose the first one because of arp and then after that we should be we shouldn't lose any pings. There you go. Cool. All right. So now we need to add a couple of static IPs. Uh, well, not a static IPs. We need to add a couple um, static routes. So IP routes. Um, let's say zero, 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 zero. Uh, and we want to go to basically anything and I want you to send it to 192.168.0.1 which is my local router right so we are going to send anything to this and also another route that if you want to get to 10.0.1.1 255 255 255 255 I want you to send it to 
Uh, 25 that one that one uh, IP routes inconsistent address and mask oh I want to put that zero over here there you go do WR there we go we save that configuration so we are now we are good to go on the next video um, we are going to be doing more configuration focused on the big IP so stay tuned for the other videos thank you guys for watching and also if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips um, go ahead and do that I you know I don't post that much but I, I do post um, all my videos uh, that I upload to YouTube so go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA daily tips also subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching I will see you on the next one guys bye bye